Harry here from Chat Spanish. The verb acabar has many different meanings in Spanish depending on how it's used. I'm going to take you through them in today's video. I'm going to look at some examples. Then you're going to scroll down. There's a link to a quiz where you can put your knowledge to the test. And also do like this video. Leave some feedback in the comments. Anything you don't understand, any future videos you want me to make, do let me know. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We've just reached 100 subscribers. Muchas gracias. But we're just getting started, as you know. And also check out the website chatspanish.online. Plug in your email to receive weekly newsletters from myself. Let's get into it. Vamos. The verb acabar. Let's get it. So we're going to see that it has many different meanings depending on how it's used. Quite simply, acabar by itself translates as to end or to finish. Acabo el trabajo a las tres. I finish work at three. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, I do know another word, a verb which means to finish or to end in Spanish, and that's terminar. You're correct, and they're used pretty much interchangeably. So, termino el trabajo a las tres. I finish work at three. Exact same meaning. So, acabar means to end or to finish in Spanish. It also actually has a sexual meaning to orgasm, but don't let that dissuade you from using it freely uh, when you say to end to finish in this, uh, in a, uh, a regular setting, because it's fine, it's very common. And I'll throw in another example here. El sábado acaba la Copa Mundial. The World Cup ends on sa uh, Saturday. Sábado. Remember the accent on the A? So really, really pronounce that. Don't be afraid to do that. And remember, A, E, I, O, and U. The vowels, those are the only letters which have an accent on. Vale? Now, when acabar by itself is directly key there, followed by an adjective, it translates as to end up. So, terminé el trabajo. I finished work. You could also say acabé el trabajo. I finished work. Both in the preterite tense. And then you have here, y acabé muy cansado. And I ended up very tired. So that is there, cansado, the adjective, tired, directly, pretty much, albeit the moi is there, but it's still considered directly following acabar. That means to end up, so I ended up very tired. And you'll see terminar does not have that same, you can't use it like that. Terminar is more direct, to terminate, think of it like that. Whereas acabar, as we'll see with some more examples, can kind of have a different meaning to it. So acabarse, here in the reflexive format. How do we know it's reflexive? Well, we've got the infinitive here, the AR verb, acabar, and we've got this se on the end, which indicates to us that it's reflexive. And now what I want to do is highlight here these reflexive pronouns, which are exactly the same for any reflexive verb. So hacerse, you're going to have these exact same reflexive pronouns, metese, nos, os, se. So please learn those, those are super useful. And acabarse in reflexive form means something different than by itself. It means to run out, to use up, to sell out, or to die. And you'll find that in Spanish, that there's words and verbs which have about six different meanings. It's bloody annoying, but you just get used to it and you just have to learn them. So I want to showcase these two, exam these two examples just to highlight the difference between acabar and acabarse. So, acabé la presentación. I finished the presentation. La presentación se acabó. The presentation ended. So notice here that the presentation ended itself. No one was doing it specifically. So, acabarse, the reflexive is needed. Whereas in this first case, acabé, yo acabé, I did it, I ended the presentation. So no reflexive is needed. And some more examples of acabarse with the various translations, se acabó, that's it. Very useful one, very useful phrase, so make sure you, you learn that. In, uh, continued on, Carlos se acabó la semana pasada. Carlos died last week. You can use acabarse en, en vez de, instead of morir. Las entradas se acabaron hace un mes. The tickets sold out a month ago. They sold out themselves. Acabarse, all right, reflexive. No one else was doing them. They sold out themselves. Continuing, acabar de. This is very, very common in Spanish. Super useful, so pay attention, chicos. Acabar de means to have just done something. And as you will have seen in the video I did recently about the verbs followed by prepositions, we always, always need the infinitive form of a verb when it's following a preposition. So you're always going to see the construct acabar plus the preposition de 
plus the infinitive. And that means to have just done something. And two things here. With acabar de, you're either going to use the present tense, the present conjugation of the verb acabar, acabo, acabas, acaba, or the imperfect, acababa, acababas, acababa, which is a mouthful if you haven't seen it already, the way that AR verbs conjugate in the imperfect tense. But this is the two, you're either going to use present or the imperfect, vale? And the dis distinction between the two is that we've seen acabar de, is used in the past to describe something in the pretty recent past. And if you use the present, acabo de, plus the infinitive, that is, I have just done something. And if you use the imperfect, acababa de, that is, I had just done something. So again, in the past, but not as recent as uh, I have just done something. And some examples to clear this up, acabo de cenar, I have just had dinner, I have just had dinner, and acababa de cenar, I had just had dinner. Do you see the distinction there? And the second one would usually be followed by a cuando or something like that. I had just had dinner. Cuando alguien toca la puerta. When someone knocked on the door. So those are the difference. But again, acabar plus de plus the infinitive. Super, super common construct in Spanish. Very useful to know that one. Continuing on with acabar followed by a different preposition now. Followed by por. And this translates as to finally done, ended up doing something. And a key thing to note here with acabar por, we're always going to use the preterite tense with acabar since it's in the past. So acabé por, preterite tense, I finally. Nadar, infinitive following the preposition, always. En el mar, I finally swam in the sea. And the second ejemplo, acabamos por coger el autobús. We ended up taking the bus. Again, preterite tense, acabamos, nosotros. And finally, this one, acabar con. So a different preposition here. And this translates as to have ended, to have ruined or have to, to have destroyed something. And again, like acabar por, we're always going to use the pres, uh, preterite tense since it's in the past. So two examples. Ella acabó con nuestra amistad. She destroyed our friendship. And finally, el viento acabó con la boda. The wind ruined the wedding, preterite tense. So we've run through uh, several different meanings and uses of acabar. So it's a very useful verb to know and get to grips with. And to summarize, acabar by itself means to finish or to end, pretty much interchangeable with the other verb, which means to finish and to end, which is terminar. However, when acabar is directly followed by an adjective, it means to end up. Vale? Then we saw the reflexive. How do we know it's reflexive? It's got the SE here after the infinitive AR verb. Vale? The SE indicates it's reflexive. You need to know those reflexive pronouns. And the reflexive means uh, to run out, to use up, uh, to sell out, or even to die. And we saw some examples there. Then we moved on to acabar with some prepositions. The most common one, which you'll see a lot in Spanish, acabar de, to have just done something. And we use, either use the present tense or the imperfect tense. So I have just done something, present. I had just done something, imperfect. Then we moved on to acabar por, and we always use the preterite tense. It's always in the past, and acabar por is to have finally done something or to end up doing something. And then finally, acabar con. Again, we always use the preterite tense here because it's in the past. And acabar con is to have ended or to have ruined or to have destroyed something. So I hope that was useful and cleared things up, chicos. And that was the verb acabar en español. So I hope you found that video useful. And now you have it clear when to use acabar, all the different meanings and the translations. And as I said at the beginning of the video, scroll down, take that free quiz, subscribe to our newsletter at chatspanish.online, follow us on Instagram, arroba, which means at chatspanish, like the video, leave some feedback in the comments, and please, above all, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. Nos vemos, chicos. Ciao.